everybody. It's our day off, so me, Danielle, and Allison, we're just hanging out here at Allison's house, and you may have seen the video before where we put together this aero garden. We took out all the little plugs, and we threw away the herb seeds, and instead we put in all these amazing carnivorous plants. Basically, we wanted to test it and see how well you could grow them. And as you can see, it's really working well. Um, Allison's been taking great care of them, obviously, but, um, you know, I tried one of these years ago and the light wasn't enough for even a sundew, let alone a Saracenia or a flytrap. And you can see in here, you know, uh, Saracenia purpurea is a full sun plant and it's reddening up and everything. These are all just come up in the last two weeks because um, we're just coming out of dormancy. And this Venus flytrap is still probably technically dormant, but you can see it's getting nice red interiors. This red cape sundew looks great. This is a Drosera tokaiensis. We have a couple pings. This is a Laoyana, beautiful red color, but too small to flower. And this is either a Sethos or a Wesser. I forget, they're siblings, they look a lot alike. Um, we have a beautiful little Cephalotus in here. We have a um, Drosera alba, so it's not light starved. It's just like that, it's an albino cape sundew. And of course, a beautiful little Nepenthes. I think that's ventricosid by Dubia is what we put in there. Yeah, Danielle is nodding yes. Uh, but anyways, I think we can safely endorse these. Go back and watch our other video to see how we set it all up. But if you want some carnivorous plants to impress your coworkers in the office or have it in your kitchen, maybe catch some fruit flies, this is a great alternative. And we're not getting paid for this either. <laughs>